Dear Baobab, written by Cheryl Fogo and illustrated by Chin Lang. This is the story of Maiko, who lives with his aunt Gia and his uncle Peter. They live in North America, far away from the country of Tanzania and Africa, where Maiko was born. Maiko has many memories of his village in Tanzania. It had a giant tree at its center, called a baobab tree. Maiko had a lot to adjust to in his new life. For one thing, he now went to a big school built of red bricks. He had many new friends there, but there was one boy in his class named Leonard who laughed at him and said that he had big ears. At night, in his bedroom, Maiko would gaze at the baobab tree that he and his aunt Gia had painted on the wall. As he dozed off, he would think of his old village. He missed sitting in the shade of the baobab tree, eating cashews with the other children. But there were things that Maiko liked about his new home, like the little spruce tree that grew out front. His uncle Peter told him that the tree was seven years old, the same age as him. When Maiko came and went, he would say to it, Hello tree, same age as me. And sometimes he would sit on the step and share his secrets with the little spruce. Then, one day, Maiko learned that his aunt and uncle planned to cut the spruce tree down. They felt that it was growing too close to the house and that its roots could do damage. Maiko knew what it was like to be small and to feel planted in the wrong place. What happened to Maiko and his little spruce? Don't worry, it all ends well. But to find out the end of the story, you'll have to read the book. <laughs>